What's up guys? Matt and Jackson here with the Toasty Bros and today we're going to be doing our $500 all new parts, all new everything, cold cat though, it's going to glow, it's going to look awesome, computer build. Hope you guys enjoy. So as I said, this is a $500 gaming PC build based around the AMD Athlon X4 8450 processor, which AMD was nice enough to send over. Really awesome processor on a 3.8 gigahertz max turbo and a 3.5 gigahertz base clock. It's a quad core, gonna be really awesome for the build. And as for the graphics card for this system, we went for the EVGA GeForce GTX 950, $150 graphics card, really well for 1080p gaming, and we're gonna definitely put it to the test with our AMD Athlon processor. As for the motherboard, which is covered by our OCZ SSD, the 240GB boot drive, OCZ was nice enough to send it over. Really awesome budget SSD for 60 bucks. the Tryon 150. Uh, we have a 1TB Western Digital hard drive, basic 1TB hard drive, nothing special here, but it will do the job for mass storage. RAM, which is the HyperX Fury, um, just basic RAM, 8GB, 1600MHz, really going to do the job for this build. And, as I mentioned before, the motherboard, which is a Gigabyte F2A68HMH Micro ATX motherboard with the processor already installed. It doesn't come like that for you all, but it did for us. So, basically, yeah, it's a black motherboard, Micro ATX, really awesome for this build. And we're going to house this whole thing in a Roswell case that we cannot pronounce the full name for. <laughs> so we're just going to go with that. Link for it will be in the description below. Right. And we're going to top it all off with some beautiful red cathode LED lights. So. If you want to see this build, stick around. We're going to do a time lapse and show off everything that's inside this thing and benchmark it in our favorite title. So, let's begin.
Alright guys, so this concludes the $500 gaming PC build. Well, I believe it performed very admirably with the Athlon X4 not bottlenecking the 950 at all. And I installed a good suite of games, and as you can tell, the benchmarks speak for themselves. This machine performs very well at 1080p. It's a great 1080p gaming machine. It will basically max out all the AAA titles that you want to play at 1080p and play them with reasonable frame rates, 30 FPS or above. So, do I think this machine is a success? Yes, it is. And Jackson would have been here and he would have said the same thing, but I had to do the benchmarks and he had to go do some stuff. So I went to finish out the video, do the benchmarks and the B-roll, and I think it turned out really well. So if you guys like this video, be sure to leave a like. If you dislike this video, leave a dislike. Comment down below what you think of this PC and if you're gonna pick one up yourself, all the parts will be located in the description below, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Peace out, guys.